In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your videos and turn them into square videos, perfect for Instagram. So let's get right into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a brand new composition. So we'll go File, New Sequence. We'll go over into the Settings tab, select Editing Mode to Custom. The time base should be the frame rate of your footage. So if you shot in 30 frames per second, then this should be 30. But I shot in 23.976, so I'm going to select 23.976. Now the frame size wants to be 1080 by 1080. So you want to go ahead and change this 1920 to 1080. Horizontal and vertical, both 1080. We'll move down to pixel aspect ratio and select square pixels one. Field should be no field progressive scan and then everything else here is fine. If you wanted to go ahead and rename the sequence, then you just do that by pressing this and renaming. But once you're happy with all of those settings, we can go ahead and press OK and we'll drag our video on to the timeline. Now it's important to note that this video should be a 1920 by 1080 widescreen video. If it's not, then that's fine. You can go ahead and crop this later, but it's just going to make things a little bit easier if it is a widescreen video. So once you drag that in, because this is a 1080 by 1080 sequence and you're dragging in a widescreen video, it's going to ask you to change the clips, but you want to keep the existing settings. So select keep existing settings. We'll select the video, go up into motion and we'll decrease the scale down to around, let's go to 65, 65%. Now from here, you want to drag that video up onto video layer two. We'll go down to the new item button on the bottom left of Premiere Pro. Go to black video and press OK. Now we'll drag the black video onto video layer one. Extend the duration of this all the way over to the right to match the same as the clip above. Select that black video, go into effects, search for tint. Then we'll drop tint onto the black video. Now, in tint on the left of Premiere Pro, you want to go ahead and select Map Black 2. Select the black box and you want to change this to any color you like. But I'm going to go ahead and select white. Now, as you can see, we've got that really awesome white border as you would see on a typical Instagram video. But now we need to go ahead and we need to add the captions. So we'll go ahead into File, New, Legacy Title and we'll press OK on this. Now I'm just going to extend this out just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And in this title window, you can go ahead and you can make a title or you can go ahead and make some captions. So I'm just going to select the T icon. Select the T icon, tap on the video and we'll just type out some random words. So how to do a and then backflip will be on the lower level. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and select all of those words so I can either select them all with the cursor or I can hold command and press A. We'll go down to fill color and change this to black. We'll go up to the font and we can go ahead and change this. My personal font is Avenir. I use it for everything that I do. But obviously select a font that you're happy with and select a font that works with your branding of your YouTube channel or your Instagram or whatever you're posting this to. Now we'll go ahead and change the weight of this by pressing bold or we'll increase the size of this and then select the cursor tool and we're going to center this up by pressing these two buttons here. Now, obviously let's drag that to the very center, which is going to drag that up here, roughly position this and then we'll press this center button on the right. And there you go. That looks really awesome. So in order to make the text for the bottom, you can either copy the text and adjust it down here or you can create a brand new title, but I'm just gonna copy and paste this one. So select that text, hold Command C and Command V, drag that down, and then we're just gonna double click on that, remove all of that text and type in whatever word you want to add. So how to do a bat flip, we'll center that up here, exit the legacy title window, go to projects, and then we'll drag that title onto video layer three and as you can see, you've got this really perfect Facebook, Instagram, cropped square video. Of course, though, if you wanted to add captions to this, then you can do this one of two ways. So if we go back into title one, 
Let's turn this one into a title. So watch this. We'll center that up. We'll copy that text. So select that, hold command C and we'll exit legacy title window. Now we'll go back up into file, new legacy title to create a brand new title. Select command and V, drag this down. And then we can go ahead and we can add our captions in. So let's do in this video. And then we're going to center that up in the very middle. Don't worry, it looks really ugly for now, but we're going to fix this later on. So we we'll exit legacy title window, drag that onto video layer four. And then we'll just cut the end of this to around one second. Now we'll go ahead and create a brand new title. So file new legacy title, press OK. Hold command V to paste in that text again. And we're going to carry on with the sentence. So the first title said in this video, and this is going to be, I am going to, that's a little bit too big. So we'll just center that up, exit the title window again. And you can just keep repeating this process over and over again. I'm not going to show you how to keep doing this because I've already shown you twice how to do this, but just keep doing this over and over again until you've got all of your text in a position. Now I'm going to go down to title 24. We'll select that one and we'll pull the position of this down to the bottom white square and we can increase or decrease the scale. That's completely up to you. But once you're happy with the look of that, we'll select the motion tab, hold command C, go to the next title and hold command V. So every time you create a brand new legacy title and you drop it onto the timeline, you want to go ahead and paste that motion. So you've got the position and the scale onto the new title. So if we play this back, we've got the video playing in the middle. We've got the white border at the top and the bottom. It's a square aspect ratio. And of course, we've got the title and the captions on the top and the bottom. And there you go. That is how you create a really awesome and really dynamic square video for Instagram or Facebook. If you found this video useful at all, then please do not forget to subscribe. I upload a brand new video every single day. And if you want to learn loads of new, really awesome things, then the best way to stay updated is to press that subscribe button. So once you've hit that subscribe button, then I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you there.